Hey there, it's Dusty Thunder again, and I have another AITA story for you. This one is, am I the astronaut for not telling a friend that her wedding dress is the same pattern as my bedding? It did say for not telling a friend, not for telling a friend, but for not telling a friend. This sounds ridiculous, and it is, but I'm being called out and even got uninvited from the wedding. One of my friends, Amber, from high school is getting married. We haven't been close in a handful of years, but she did ask me to be a bridesmaid. She later said it was because myself, her, and her still BFF, let's call her Chloe, were a trio back in high school, so it felt weird not asking me. We went dress shopping with all five bridesmaids, maid of honor, her mom, grandma, and future mother-in-law. It was a nice time, and we all had brunch, and then she tried on dresses. Her fiancé is Catholic, and she wanted a traditional style dress. The one she picked was white with silver embroidery in a pattern that I I thought looked familiar but couldn't place it at the time. A week later, I posted a picture of my toddler on my bed. She was laying in a way that made it look like the design was surrounding her perfectly. It looked like it was on purpose, and I used my nice camera too. It was a really nice picture. Chloe commented first saying, aww, but then said, wait, is that Amber's dress? I replied that it was my bedding. She then made a group chat with me and Amber and said, why didn't you say anything to Amber when she bought a dress that has the same design and colors as your bedding. I said I didn't realize that it was the same. Amber said, it's weird that you bought bedding that matches my dress. Oh, for fuck's sake, come on. Yeah, that's what happened. I ran out right after the dress fitting and, uh, and you know, found bedding that just matched your dress perfectly and bada bing, bada boom. That's, that's what happened. Okay, for, for bride here, <sighs> have some red flag confetti. And I told her that I've had this bedding for three years now. They both demanded that I take the picture of my child off social media, and I said no, so they blocked me, and another bridesmaid said that they told her to uninvite me. I had put the deposit down for the bachelorette party. We split it five ways, and my one-fifth was the deposit, so no one else had to put money down. It's at a resort at a casino, and my family frequents it, so I got us a good deal on a very nice suite. And since I'm uninvited, I canceled the reservation so I could get my money back. Now everyone is saying that I'm an asshole, and that I took it too far by canceling the bachelorette reservation. Am I the asshole for not telling a friend that her wedding dress is the same pattern as my bedding? OP in this case, let's go ahead and get it out of the way right up front. OP in this case, not the asshole at all. There's no obligation for you to remember the exact patterns of things and then go check everything in your home to make sure that it doesn't exist in other places there. How is it your fault that a similar, surely it can't be exactly the same, similar pattern and material was used in a wedding dress as your bedding. How can that be your fault at all? And how can it be your fault that you just happened to have that bedding and she just happened to choose that dress? You've had it for three years now. If bride had ever been to your house and seen the bed, whether realizing it or not, it would be equally her fault, right? Anybody in the bridal party who had been to your house and who had caught a glimpse of your bed, it would be equally their fault as well, right? For not telling her this thing that you didn't even realize was a thing. And then to delete you to block you and to uninvite you because your bedding matched her dress and you didn't say anything because you didn't realize it is just a bridezilla level five overkill. Like they think that you were out there being malicious. You know what I did? I went out and bought the same dress, like nine of them, and then took it to a seamstress and had them tear them apart and turn it into a comforter because I just wanted to prove to the world that I'm better than you. That special dress that you have? Yeah, I've got nine of them all sewn together, and I sleep underneath them. Is that really what was going through their minds? I don't understand how they took this and ran with it so hard and then just excommunicated you like, oh, that bitch, you know she did that shit on purpose. You know she went out and found bedding that matched my dress and threw it on her bed immediately. What a ho. And then to get pissed at you after uninviting you from the wedding, which means uninviting you from the bachelorette party, <sighs> to get pissed at you for canceling the deposit, which was your money. It's the only way that you could get it back. I wonder if OP communicated this here with anyone ahead of time and said, hey, you know, since I'm uninvited, I'm canceling this, or she just went ahead and did it. She didn't have any obligation to tell anybody ahead of time because screw them. But if she had let them know ahead of time, it would have given them more of a heads up and made her less the asshole. But also at this point, who cares? This bride is obviously not, not into like proper decorum or, you know, being polite or anything like that. So the 
the rules of the game change. And if you're looking at reciprocity, what you did here was nowhere near as shitty what they did. So let them chew on it. Not the asshole. Hope they have a fun party. I hope you didn't pay the deposit on the stripper too. And if you did, I hope you canceled it. So that way they get the Danny DeVito version of the stripper. You know what I'm talking about from friends when he shows up. Ladies, someone call the long arm of the law. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Not the asshole. Uh, Dodged a bullet on this one probably. Sounds like it was going to be a real shitty time. Sounds like a catty bunch. Meow.